right off the bat, as you may perceive, I have a port wine stain on my left cheek. And that was something that I have had since birth. Jeremy Baptista remembers the painful laser treatments he faced from a young age. What helped him get through it? The nurse is by his side. Later on in high school, I was actually uh, found to have a tumor in my stomach, which was removed and thankfully found to be benign. And again, the nurses were just so kind to me, and that just solidified my desire to pursue nursing. The Rucker School of Nursing senior is just a few weeks away from graduation, but he already has plenty of in the field experience. Throughout the pandemic, he worked in the intensive care unit of an area hospital. Did it scare him from the profession? Quite the opposite. Because there was such a need out there, and, and I felt as though now was the time to step up. Healthcare professionals worried there would be a drop in nursing school applications after a year filled with images and stories of long and difficult hours. Turns out the commissioner of the State Department of Health says applications are up, a trend Rutgers School of Nursing has seen firsthand. Applications are up by about 36 percent. It's positive news, but Dean Linda Flynn says the uptick doesn't come close to meeting the needs of the state's current nursing shortage. You have to realize the severity of the nursing shortage. We currently have about between a 10 and 11 percent vacancy rate. So roughly speaking, that would be 10,000 to 11,000 jobs. In 2030, which is not that far away, there still will be a significant shortage of nurses in New Jersey. There's also a shortage of certified nursing assistants who work in long-term care facilities. The state says it's speeding up the certification process for CNAs in training to address that shortage. Nurses are aging. Um, and we're aging at a rate that's faster um, than young people are coming into the profession. Uh, the other thing that's affecting the nursing shortage nationwide is the faculty shortage. It is estimated nationally that 83,000 qualified applicants to schools of nursing across the country were turned away predominantly because there were not enough faculty. The problem is there isn't a financial incentive to leave the nursing practice to become a professor. It requires an advanced degree and you make less than practicing nurses. It's a calling, uh, but obviously the financial issues are a factor as well and really need to be addressed. There is one federal program that helps nurses who want to become faculty members with their tuition, but it is just one program and it, it is limited. So anything that would help uh, nurses who want to become faculty members uh, pay for their tuition uh, would be extremely helpful. And quickly, because New Jersey State Nurses Association CEO Judith Schmidt says it's going to take years for students to get the experience level of the people retiring. Some of them with experience up to 25, 30, and 35 years. We're not seeing those um, levels of experience in some of our clinical areas as we have seen in the past. Jeremy Baptista says he's eager to join the workforce to do his part. You might be treating a future nurse and your actions might be inspiring the next generation. I'm Leah Mishkin for NJ Spotlight News.